Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the founder of FoodSmart. Thanks to your health plan and your doctor, we can provide our personal food assistant, registered dietitians to you free of charge to help you get quality food on the table uh, in a way that's easy for your family. I grew up in Buffalo uh, in a rural area on food stamps, and I know what it's like to spend weekends extreme couponing, going to different stores, trying to figure out how to get quality food on the table for our family. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the founder of FoodSmart. Thanks to your health plan and your doctor, we provide personal food assistance, registered dietitians, free of charge to help you get quality food on the table for your family. I grew up in rural Buffalo, and while we all enjoyed our chicken wings, saw what that could do uh, to a family as it relates to cancer, strokes, obesity, and it wasn't always easy to get good food on the table. I grew up on food stamps, and every weekend, I did our version of extreme couponing with my mom, going to sometimes four different stores to hunt for deals to get good food on the table for us. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. Thanks to your health plan and your doctor, we provide personal food assistance, registered dietitians, free of charge to help you get quality food on the table for you and your family. I grew up in rural Buffalo on food stamps, and my mom and I would sometimes shop at three, four different stores, cut coupons, find discounts every weekend to help put good food on the table. And it wasn't always easy to navigate what foods were better for health outcomes versus not. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy my buffalo chicken wings, um, but I learned a lot from the struggles of my family with cancer, strokes, and other you know, challenges such as obesity is how you navigate healthy eating in this world of constant advertising of different foods to your family. I went on to start the Nutrition and Fitness for Life program for kids at Boston Medical Center, serving low-income families in the Boston area, places like Roxbury, Dorchester, and Mattapan. And what we learned is that families were just looking for help on how to be able to find quality food, make it easy to get it on the table, and have it fit within their food stamps budget. That was 20 years ago, and I went on to train as a physician at Duke in North Carolina, uh, master's in public health, and focusing on nutritional epidemiology at Harvard School of Public Health, and a clinical researcher at UCSF here in California. But more importantly, uh, I have three boys, and as I sit on the board of the Partnership for Healthy America that Mrs. Obama started, after creating Let's Move in the White House, I think through every day, how can we help bring quality care, not only to my three boys, um, but also quality food care to the country, especially given what you and other families have gone through coming out of COVID for the last two years. Today, Food Smart is Eating Well Made Simple for over a million people in the United States. There's two pieces to Food Smart. One is food smart telenutrition. Our personal food assistants are available to you whenever is most convenient as a phone call or a video call and will help assess you know, how your baseline eating habits work today, what kind of food you like, and will help generate a grocery list and a meal plan that fits your preferences, your family's needs, and we try to make sure that it fits your budget. If you need some extra help with affording quality food, we'll help you enroll in SNAP and make sure you get your EBT card or get your EBT card renewed. And you may not know, but you can now use your EBT card online in all 50 states. That's powerful, especially if you're trying to be extra careful with Delta raging around the United States, or you're just trying to make life a little bit easier, or it's inconvenient to try to make it to the grocery store. The reason we can do this is because our Foods Mart is integrated with every major grocer in the United States, ranging from your local grocer to Walmart and Amazon Fresh, and we integrate with restaurants in your area through Grubhub. We can even serve up meal kits, chilled meals, and frozen meals if those are more convenient and cost-effective for you. Our dietitians, though, make it really easy. The reason we call them personal food assistants is because whether you want to do it just as a phone call 
or a video call on your phone or on your computer where they share a screen with you and actually set up the food ordering for you for the first time or if you've already got an online food ordering account for the second, third, or fourth time, they try to make it really easy for you to get quality food on the table. Or perhaps most importantly, they'll help you hunt for deals. And our tools make it really easy to compare prices on quality food that's good for you. And we shut off the advertising of unhealthy food that you don't really want in your face. So at the end of the day, if you'd like to give this a try and get some extra help getting good food on the table at a price you can afford for your family and with food you really enjoy, go ahead and click on the link at the end of this video. You can set up your first personal food assistant appointment with your registered dietitian thanks to your health plan covering the cost. Take care. Here's that. Okay, so speeding, intro, part one, take one, and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Langhire, the CEO and founder of Food Smart. They're set. So part, part one, take two, and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langhire, the CEO and founder of Food Smart. Thanks to your health plan and your doctor, we provide personal food assistants, registered dietitians, help you get quality food on the table. When I grew up in rural Buffalo, we used food stamps and hunting for discounts to make sure we could get good food on our table and wanted to try to help make it easier to get families across the country, especially coming out of COVID and struggling with food prices going up and other challenges to make it really easy. Today, Food Smart is eating well made simple for over a million people in the United States. And with three boys, I also know how important it is to choose wisely for your family and your growing kids. So at the end of this video, you can click on the link if you'd like to set up your first appointment with a personal food assistant, a registered dietitian, who can actually get on the phone with you or do a video call with you and help you set up online food ordering. Make sure you have your SNAP EBT card if you qualify, do price comparison with any of our integrated grocery stores from around the United States, and even place restaurant orders and meal kit orders for your family. No matter where you live, we can help you get tasty and quality food that's healthy for your kids and your family on the table more easily given your busy schedule. Again, you can click on the link if you want to set up your first appointment with a personal food assistant. I'm Dr. Jay Langhire, and thanks for all that you do. Clear set. About us. Take one. And action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langhire, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I founded FoodSmart 10 years ago because after growing up in rural Buffalo on food stamps and grappling uh, with uh, the consequences of very tasty chicken wings, unfortunately obesity, cancer, strokes, and diabetes that you know, really um, ended the life of some of my loved ones uh, way too early. Um, took to work at starting the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center 20 years ago and realized that we could reverse insulin resistance in all but just a few kids that came through our program. In that program, uh, we realized that by uh, personalizing a grocery list and making sure it could fit within a food stamps budget, making sure the food was within the preference sets of the kids and the families uh, and fit cultural preferences, that we could have a huge impact on insulin resistance and health outcomes. But the question from pediatricians when we said, how can we help the thousands of kids that were worried or obese, um, they came back and said, we don't have time Clear set, about us, take two, and action. Hi, I'm Jay Langhire. Clear set, about us, take three, and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langhire, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. FoodSmart's eating well made simple for over a million people in the United States, serving over 700 employers, health plans, and health systems. When I uh, was growing up, my family was on food stamps, and my mom and I would often hunt for good deals at three or four different grocery stores, cutting coupons, looking at flyers, trying to figure out how to get quality food on the table for the family. Um, but like all good Buffalonians, we were also tempted by our chicken wings and really high quality pizza. But unfortunately, that didn't 
um, bode well always for our family uh, in terms of diabetes, stroke, cancer, heart attacks, and obesity. First set about us. Take four and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langhire, the CEO and founder of Food Smart. First set about us. Take five and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langhire, the CEO and founder of Food Smart. Food Smart is eating well made simple for over a million people in the United States. We serve up our telenutrition because when I was young, uh, my family grew up on food stamps, and every weekend my mom and I cut coupons, looked for discounts, and went to a multitude of different stores to try to get quality food on the table. And 20 years ago, I started the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center. Coming out of that experience, I wanted to support families uh, that were struggling with money to overcome obesity for kids and chronic diseases like I saw in my neighborhoods and my family, like cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes. We were able to reverse insulin resistance in all but a couple of the kids that came through the Nutrition Fitness for Life program and BMC by creating a personalized grocery list that actually fit the preferences of kids. What kind of food do you like? What kind of vegetables completely gross you out? We would ask the same questions to parents as well. But then we would make sure that the grocery list recommendations that we made to families fit within their food stamps budget. And the results were transformative. We reversed insulin resistance in all but a couple of the kids that came through our program. But when we asked pediatricians, what about the thousands of kids that are not yet diabetic uh, that we'd like to support as well? And they said, that's a really big priority for us, even 20 years ago, but we don't have time. We're not reimbursed to address that problem. Um, and we're not really trained how to do this kind of nutrition work in medical school. They said, what if it was as easy as Amazon.com at delivering a food script to families in the home? But that was when Amazon.com was mostly books. So flash forward, today, FoodSmart serves over 700 employers, health plans, and health systems, reaching over a million enrolled members at getting quality food on the table more easily. FoodSmart is eating well made simple. Here's a little bit how it works. We are the largest network of registered dietitians in the United States, and we serve up our personal food assistance to families to be able to do a NutriQuiz to assess baseline food insecurity status, whether or not people have an EBT card or not, and baseline nutrition and eating behavior. We then pair that with baseline health outcomes and create a personalized plan, meal plan, and grocery list for an individual and for their family live with dietitian visits as well as our apps, uh, FoodSmart. It doesn't matter whether you're just using a flip phone or a smartphone and screen sharing and doing a video call with our dietitians. We make it really easy to convert that grocery list and meal plan into an order on our Foods Mart. So we go from Food Smart to Foods Mart. And we have the most integrations with different ways of eating of any company in the United States. We integrate with all the major grocers in the US, ranging from your small local grocers on Instacart to large grocers like Walmart and Amazon Fresh. We also integrate with Grubhub to help you order food from restaurants. Most families do a mix. Sometimes it's cooking, sometimes after a busy day, it's ordering in. We also facilitate orders to meal kits, chilled meals, frozen meals, medically tailored meals that might fit a specific clinical condition that one or more family members is grappling with in the family. But in doing this, we're trying to address making it easier to make food smart decisions to overcome the massive inflow of marketing telling you to eat wheat thins or any kinds of different foods but without giving you the, all the facts about what is both foods that you like but also food that's quality for your family, especially for your kids if you have a growing family. We also make sure though that you can afford quality food. It's a misperception that you can't. Uh, and with the historic increase in SNAP uh, three weeks ago, uh, then really no family in America needs to be food insecure. And if you're not really worried about money on food, but you're still just trying to save time in this busy modern lifestyle that we all lead, our personal food assistants will get on the phone with you or get on a video visit 
make it really easy to set up and refine your online food ordering systems to be really fast and get good food on the table that you'll enjoy. So if you're interested in learning more, please email us at inquiries at foodsmart.com and we hope you'll pick up the phone, have a conversation about how you can help your members be both food secure and achieve better eating behaviors to get better health outcomes. Thank you. I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer. Clear set. About as recruiting. Take one and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. Thanks for everything you're doing. Take one. Or recruit about as recruiting. Take two and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. About us recruiting. About us recruiting. Take two and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. About us recruiting. Take three and action. Hi, I'm Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. About us recruiting. Take four and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. When I was growing up in rural Buffalo, my family used food stamps and hunting for deals, uh, which often looked like Saturday afternoons with my mother pouring over food grocery flyers and going to two, three, four different stores to hunt uh, for how to get quality food on the table that we could afford. When I think about what's happened in the last two years from COVID, I feel really connected to the challenges that a lot of families face at getting good food on the table in today's environment. 20 years ago, I helped found the Nutrition Fits for Life program at Boston Medical Center, a pediatric obesity clinic, to help uh, kids who are already pre-diabetic at a young age get back on track. And we found that by personalizing a grocery list for the family that they could afford on their food stamps, you could reverse insulin resistance in almost all kids that came through the program. But the question was, what about the thousands of kids who were overweight not yet diabetic. Pediatrician said, that's a priority, but I'm not reimbursed for that. I'm not trained how to do that from medical school, and I have no time. So you need to make it as easy as Amazon.com delivering books to the home, this was 20 years ago, and innovate food scripts that we can deliver just as easily as we prescribe drugs. Flash forward today, FoodSmart serves over a million people, and we're eating well made simple for those members. So what is FoodSmart? There's Food Smart Telenutrition, where our registered dietitians, the largest network in the United States, serves up support as personal food assistance to help generate a personalized meal plan, assess people's baseline food security status, nutrition status, and health status to personalize the right set of foods to get on the table for their family. But they're empowered by our Food Smart. We're integrated with all major grocers in the United States, with Grubhub restaurants, with meal kit companies, chilled meals, as well as frozen meals and medically tailored meals that our dietitians can help serve up for families to get on the table more easily. But our dietitians are not just didactic lecturers about your cholesterol or eating less sodium and what foods to change. Our dietitians are food assistants personal food assistance to help you get quality food on the table more easily and at prices you can afford. Because we're integrated with so many food outlets, we can help do price comparison, just like GoodRx does for drugs, to get quality food on the table that you can afford consistently and sustainably. And try to make it fun. Our celebrity chefs, cooking videos and other content, recipes and community uh, helps you keep it fresh, uh, literally so that in this Groundhog's Day that we live in after these last two years of COVID, it still feels like a lot of fun. And given how busy you are, especially if you're supporting kids and your family, make it a little bit easier to get this quality food on the table week after week. So to get started, it's very easy. Uh, we work with over 700 employers, health plans, and health systems. And thanks to their efforts to support medical nutrition therapy in our brand of nutrition counseling, we can start working with employees, health plan members, and patients 
to actually tee up making sure that they have SNAP EBT cards, can afford quality food, and find the time to make it much simpler to start food ordering, especially as the COVID Delta variant rages in the US. If you'd like to learn more about how to help keep people safe in the middle of COVID, to help overcome food insecurity, and how to help people get more easy access to quality food to both get better health outcomes and live a better life and really appreciate your efforts on their behalf, please reach out to us at j at foodsmart.com. Thanks for all that you do. Eaten, part one, and action. Life at FoodSmart right now is pretty crazy. We're growing super quickly. Uh, there's new challenges popping up every day. We've got new customers we're onboarding and new initiatives. We're constantly developing our product. And uh, it's awesome because every single week, every single day brings a new challenge and a new problem for you to face. I'm Keaton Carano, and I lead the data science team here at FoodSmart. I joined FoodSmart because I wanted to work in tech still, but have a positive impact on people's lives. FoodSmart's mission is to help people uh, make healthier food choices every single day. We want to make these food decisions easy for them, and these have just tremendous long-term impacts on their lives. Uh, people who are in our program are eating significantly healthier than they were before. Hi, my name is Claire. I'm on the member marketing team here at FoodSmart. I joined FoodSmart because coming from the nonprofit world, it was really important for me to find a company that had a mission behind it and was doing something good for the world, and I feel like I really found that here at FoodSmart. Um, working at FoodSmart is super fun. You're really empowered to do um, anything that you feel like is going to be the best for the members and for the company and just really run with your ideas. Um, so it's really great having that freedom, um, but also there's a lot of support with the leadership. I work with a team on the member marketing team all across the country and it's so fun to have people all in different areas and I know that if I'm traveling anywhere throughout the country, I've got friends that I can go and visit and I'm also super excited to see everyone in San Francisco here sometime soon. Hi, my name is Claire. I'm on the member marketing team here at FoodSmart and my main job is to give our members the best experience possible with the product and help them live their happiest and healthiest lives. I joined FoodSmart because I really wanted a company with a mission behind it, and I feel like I really found that here. Um, we're super empowered to do everything that we think is going to help the members live their best lives, and you get a lot of freedom in that regard, but you also get a lot of support from our leadership and from the other members of your team. Uh, the best part about working for FoodSmart is our awesome, oh, sorry. The best part about working at FoodSmart is our awesome office located in downtown San Francisco. It's super nice. There's a lot of perks like monthly um, wine tastings. Uh, we get some company lunches sometimes. And just being with your coworkers is always a nice feeling. FoodSmart has a really strong mission of um, eating well made simple. And we try to make eating healthy as accessible and affordable to people all across the country as possible. Um, and we're doing that in a lot of regards right now. Um, this is a super high growth time at FoodSmart and it's really exciting to see how things are evolving and the different clients that we're working with, the different populations that we're serving, and really trying to make a difference um, no matter what background you're coming from. I knew that FoodSmart was where I wanted to work when I was doing the interview process and was talking to all of the team members that I would be working with and just got to hear about all of the awesome um, mission behind the work and that's really what drives everyone here I think is that um, we're all really passionate about the work that we're doing. This isn't just a job but this is something that we all actually really believe in. I use FoodSmart in my daily life so uh, me promoting it to our members is not just um, it's not just a sell. I really do believe in the product and I believe in where it's going in the future. So recruiting RDs take one and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, uh, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up in Buffalo on food stamps, uh, hunting with my mom for quality, affordable food, sometimes going to three different grocery stores on the weekend, and cutting coupons and looking through flyers. Clear set. Clear set. Take two. And action. Hi, I'm Jay Langheyer, CEO and founder of FoodSmart. Clear set. Take three. And Action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up in rural Buffalo 
uh, where chicken wings and pizza rule the day along with our Buffalo Bills. But uh, my family leveraged food stamps and free lunches at school to get by getting quality food on the table. And I remember actually cutting coupons and spending a lot of time on Saturdays and Sundays going to a few different stores to hunt for deals and getting quality food on the table. My family struggled with obesity as well as cancer, strokes, heart attacks, and diabetes. And obviously it was easy to see that the way that we ate uh, helped drive that impact. I have three young, younger sisters and my oldest of my younger sisters uh, was a dietitian, And I was as impressed uh, with what she did for her patients. And 20 years ago, I started the Pediatric Obesity Clinic uh, at Boston Medical Center for kids uh, in the inner city in Roxbury, Dorchester, Mattapan, and other areas of Boston with the chair of pediatrics and the head of the Adult Weight Management Clinic. And what we learned is that by personalizing a grocery list for the family, something that the pediatricians didn't have time to do, weren't trained to do in medical school, is you know, you know, as dietitians, and you weren't reimbursed for. Take three, and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. FoodSmart is eating well made simple. We serve over a million members across the United States and all 50 states in the U.S. We are a dietitian network of RDs just like you in communities all over the United States and 50 states. Take five and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up in rural Buffalo. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. When I grew up in Buffalo, my mom and I used to cut coupons, find discounts on uh, food and go to multiple different stores to try to make ends meet and get good food on the table, which is extra challenging given how tasty chicken wings are and good pizza from where I grew up. But we saw the downsides and the challenges that unhealthy eating had in our family uh, as it relates to obesity, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, strokes. And my sister, uh, one of three, became a dietitian uh, and I was always impressed about what she was able to do for each individual patient that she saw. 20 years ago, I started the uh, pediatric obesity clinic at Boston Medical Center with the chairman of pediatrics and the head of the adult weight management clinic. And by personalizing a grocery list for kids and their families, often kids on Medicaid or uninsured and on food stamps, and making sure that it fit their budget on food stamps, uh, we were able to help them uh, reverse insulin resistance and get weight under control for kids. When we asked pediatricians, uh, how could you actually help the thousands of kids that were overweight or obese? Um, they would say that, well, we don't have time, we're not reimbursed, and we're not really trained how to do this in medical school. We don't have a referral path um, to dietitians because uh, the dietitians uh, don't have enough time in the outpatient setting. We don't have enough dietitians in the outpatient setting, and much of dietetics was catered towards the inpatient setting. So. One thing that we took away from what they said was, I wish you could make getting people healthy food as easy as a drug prescription. I wish you could make it as easy as an Amazon book order delivered to their door. This was 20 years ago. Uh, and if you could enable a food script and make that really easy for us to do, we would issue those all day long for our families, not only to combat child obesity, but to address chronic kidney disease, end-stage renal disease, and, and help dialysis patients, help cancer patients going through chemotherapy, dealing with malnutrition and hyperglycemia, patients on psychiatric medications that gain a lot of weight from hyperglycemia from their medications, people who were recovering from a heart attack, people who got discharged from the hospital with congestive heart failure, and so many other conditions that dietitians work on every single day of their practice. But in talking to dietitians, we realized that the job is not simple. Uh, there's a lot of manual data to enter to first establish, you know, is somebody food insecure or not? Uh, does somebody have a SNAP or EBT card or not? What's the baseline dietary status of somebody? And what are the food preferences that you need to know to create a personalized meal plan for a family, let alone a personalized grocery list for the family? 
And then once you do all that, how do we make it really easy for people to take action on the recommendations that you offer as a dietitian, that our dietitians at FoodSmart recommend to families? How do we make that really easy to follow through on those recommendations? And how do we make it really easy for dietitians who build a relationship with individuals and families as a whole to try new foods slowly over time, starting with the preferences that they like, but slowly start to substitute out sodas for club soda. Try different things until they find you know, new ways of eating that really help improve their health outcomes and help them feel great. So we've integrated with our FoodSmart with all the grocers in the US, the major grocers, with restaurants through Grubhub, with meal kit companies, chilled meals, medically tailored meals, frozen meals, to make it really easy for our dietitians to see the returns of their advice and their coaching and their relationship building with patients in terms of the outcomes that we see. And we've been able to sustainably change weight outcomes, hypertension levels, hyperlipidemia, and fundamentally get diabetes under control. So if you're interested in kind of coming to a place like FoodSmart where you can have a number of different roles as a dietitian, please reach out to us at recruiting at foodsmart.com or click the link at the end of this video. We're trying to foster a culture where not only can you see patients through telenutrition, especially given the incredible changes that have happened in the last couple of years of COVID, telenutrition rules have changed, people are now excited to meet a dietitian over a video visit or a call, and people are looking for help to use SNAP with its historic increases, now able to use SNAP online to foster their grocery orders. And if you're interested in other things that we do, uh, the way we build our product, the way we integrate with our grocery stores, the way we serve up nutrition information, or if you're interested in helping to spread the good word to the health plans, the employers, and the health systems that we serve, or even creating content in terms of cooking classes and other videos for our millions of members, um, please again reach out at recruiting at foodsmart.com or learn more at the link after this video. Thank you very much. General recruiting. Recruiting, take one. And action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up in rural Buffalo, uh, and my mom and I on the weekends used to hunt for coupons and find deals in food. General recruiting, take two. And action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up in rural Buffalo on food stamps. And I remember on Saturdays going to multiple grocery stores with my mom, hunting for deals, uh, and trying to get quality food on the table. Um, we loved our chicken wings, of course, being from Buffalo, but I also saw the impact that unhealthy foods had on our family and friends in terms of obesity, diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, cancer, strokes, heart disease. Uh, and it started to really make sense that the, the way in which our country has kind of served up food uh, to so many, like my family, uh, was really unsustainable. 20 years ago, I started the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center uh, with the Chairman of Pediatrics. General Recruiting, take three, and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up in rural Buffalo on food stamps, and I remember shopping on Sundays with my mom going to multiple different stores, hunting for deals and quality food uh, to get on the table. And while we loved our chicken wings, uh, it was easy to see the impact that unhealthy processed food had in terms of affecting my family related to obesity, hypertension, strokes, cancers, uh, and diabetes. 20 years ago, I helped start the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center, where we saw that if you gave families a personalized grocery list that they could afford on their food stamps budget, then you could reverse insulin resistance and get obesity under control for kids and families. And when we asked, how can you actually reach the thousands of kids that are overweight and not yet pre-diabetic, pediatricians often said, we don't have time, 
we're not trained how to do that in medical school, and we're not reimbursed for that back then. But they said, I wish it was as easy as delivering Amazon books to people's doorstep or prescribing a medication. I wish we could give people food scripts. Flash forward, Food Smart's the largest telenutrition organization in the United States. We serve over a million members from over 700 organizations, and we're growing to 10 million people over the next two years that we serve. But we really need to be serving over 100 million people. And it's only through the efforts of people like you and the people here and the team today that we can get this work accomplished. We have people from large tech companies on the one hand to the largest dietitian network of the friendliest, kindest, most thoughtful dietitians in the United States, but who take their role very seriously, not only as counselors trained in the biochemistry of food, but also as supporters, personal food assistants, who actually roll up their sleeves and help people take advantage of some of the like, unanticipated silver linings of these hard last two years during COVID. One, you can use SNAP and your EBT card food stamps online now in all 50 states. Two, it used to be that only telenutrition was reimbursed for Medicare in Hawaii and Alaska. Now, it's reimbursed in all 50 states. And thanks to the Affordable Care Act, you can actually uh, have reimbursement per the medical policies of health plans around the country. So we've assembled an awesome team of humble, thoughtful, smart people who are really passionate about the mission of overcoming food and nutrition insecurity and really helping people get good food on the table that's fun and brings families together, but also helps people sustainably live a better life. If you're interested in what we do, please click on the link at the end of this video or email recruiting at foodsmart.com and come see how we work on making eating well made simple. Take care. Clinical outcomes, take one and action. Clinical food smart, take two and action. Clinical testing. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Langhire, the CEO and founder of Food Smart. I grew up in rural Buffalo, and my mother and I used to go grocery shopping at multiple stores to hunt for deals and use our food stamps to get quality food on the table. We enjoyed our chicken wings, but I also saw the gravity uh, of impact that that had on our family in, in terms of obesity, heart attacks, strokes, cancer, and diabetes, and wanted to help address these issues, especially for families that struggle with food insecurity. I went on to start the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center, with the chairman of pediatrics and the head of the adult weight management clinic and we saw that we could reverse insulin resistance for pre-diabetic kids by personalizing a grocery list and making sure families could afford that food on their food stamps budget. FoodSmart today has made that process of delivering a food script really easy, like we did back in Boston Medical Center in a really manual way. Our FoodSmart telenutrition process with our largest network of dietitians in the United States helps people complete a NutriQuiz that's based on the Food Frequency Questionnaire from NIH, NCI, and uses supplemental questions from the USDA Food and Security Screener to establish baseline nutrition status of our patients and members, as well as the food insecurity status of families. We supplement those questions with information about whether or not people have an EBD card or not, and specific information about ingredients and food that people don't like and other potential barriers to eating healthy. We also collect a robust amount of information about health outcomes, weight, diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and other conditions. Because we integrate with all the grocers in the US, restaurants through Grubhub, meal kit companies, medically tailored meal companies, chilled meals, our dietitians are able to take their personalized meal plan recommendations and make it very easy for families to convert those recommendations and the nutrition counseling into actual food orders that they can follow through with. And because we provide price comparison and help people make sure that they can use their SNAP benefits online, we're able to get profound results that are the most sustainable in the industry. 
in JMAR, we publish that we get a third of people to lose 5% of weight or more at the two-year mark. But we followed that up with a publication showing that people sustain weight loss ongoing, and even at the three-year mark, people keep losing more weight. Clear, set, clinical action. Take three. Action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Langheyer, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. When I grew up in rural Buffalo, my mom and I used food stamps when we went grocery shopping at multiple stores each weekend to try to hunt for deals and get quality food on the table. And while we enjoyed our chicken wings, uh, I realized the impact that that had on our family and that processed food has on a lot of families around the United States in terms of obesity, uh, hypertension, diabetes, cancers, heart attacks, and strokes. 20 years ago, I started the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center with the chairman of pediatrics and the head of the adult weight management clinic. And we were able to reverse insulin resistance for many kids that came through the program by creating a personalized grocery list that people could afford uh, on their food stamps budget. Flash forward today, FoodSmart is the largest uh, dietitian network in the United States, serving over a million enrolled patients and members with our version of telenutrition. And because we're integrated uh, with most major grocers in the United States, uh, Grubhub restaurants, meal kit companies, chilled meals, as well as medically tailored meal and frozen meal vendors, our dietitians are able to provide not only nutrition counseling and a personalized meal plan and a dietary assessment using the food frequency questionnaire from NIH and the dietary food and security screener from USDA, we're also able to then take the personalized meal plan we developed from that, those insights to create um, grocery lists that can be ordered immediately, leveraging SNAP online, uh, and using price comparison to make sure that families can afford uh, the food that dietitians recommend uh, in their plan. Now our NutriQuiz uh, helps us keep track of the dietary status of families and uh, patients and members, as well as uh, the food insecurity status of members. But we also collect information on weight and other health outcomes. We reported in JMIR that we get a third of our members to lose 5% or weight or more at the one year mark. But we followed that up with another publication showing that even at the three year mark, people keep losing more weight. And what we see is when you change the food buying environment for an individual or a family, then you sustain weight loss and other health outcome improvements for the long run, not just the short run. Traditional health education often relies on coaching or group coaching and education in a series of structured curricular classes. And those are very effective to get the ball rolling and to drive motivation through the group. There's a lot of wonderful programs that have done this for many years. However, what you see in those programs is often kind of a yo-yo weight loss effect, yo-yo dieting, and people regain the weight and they have to start over again. For us, it's really important to not only drive weight loss, but sustain weight loss and keep people on a long-term journey to get back to a healthy BMI, not just settle for a 5% weight loss to start. Now what comes from that impact is a bunch of improvements to other really demonstrable health outcomes. We show that we're able to have 36% of people with hyperlipidemia go back to healthy, normal lipid levels, just like the American Heart Association says, you're supposed to start with modifying diet before going to statins and other medications. We're very effective at helping a strong subset of people um, really correct uh, their lipids to normal levels just based on modifying their diet alone with our dietitian's support. We also see a 10 over 5 point drop in hypertension, systolic over diastolic blood pressure. And with diabetes, we see that 39% of people uh, with out of control hemoglobin C get that hemoglobin C back in control over a two year mark, a 0.7 drop and hemoglobin and C over those two years. Just from dietary changes alone, that is very complementary to medication adherence initiatives and disease management programs. And when you put the two programs together of what we do for diet and what those DM programs do for medication adherence, you can get much more scalable cost-effective results. So speaking of cost-effectiveness and return on investment, 
we take a very hard look at ROI, both from the models that we build, working with actuarial teams and analytics teams and clinical teams and product teams up front at health plans, health systems and employer benefits teams and benefits consultants. But at the end of the first year or multi-year uh, projects together, we really like to look at match pair claims analysis to validate the cost savings that are based on the clinical impact that I mentioned above. And our nutrition counselors also do a lot of work to affect other clinical conditions besides just the handful that I rattled off, including uh, supporting patients through cancer chemotherapy and their malnutrition, hyperglycemia, uh, and helping people with other clinical conditions such as CKD or those um, grappling with autoimmune conditions. In addition to health cost savings that you can see in your claims data, we also see, and this has been validated multiple times, uh, including with third parties, uh, a deep uh, level of member retention from uh, our food care benefits. People really appreciate it when a health plan or an employer uh, provides extra support for families at getting quality food on the table, and it shows up in spades in terms of the level of member and employee retention you can see and can really be a revenue and growth driver uh, for your organization. If you're interested in learning more about FoodSmart and our clinical outcomes and the ways in which we work with your analytics, uh, actuarial, and benefits consulting teams, please reach out to us. Uh, you can reach out to inquiries at foodsmart.com or click on the link at the end of this video. Thank you for your time. Cut. Clear set. Medicaid, Medicaid, act, Medicaid, take one, and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Langhire, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up in rural Buffalo on food stamps, and I remember on weekends going to multiple different stores, try to make ends meet and get quality food on the table with my mom. Now, of course, part of that food was uh, chicken wings and pizza. I am a Buffalonian after all, but um, jokes aside, uh, definitely kind of came to understand the impact uh, that a consumption of a lot of processed food had on my family and friends and people around our country. Um, we really struggled with strokes, cancer, diabetes, and obesity in my extended family. I really wanted to do something about that uh, as uh, I went through my education. Even before I went to Duke Med or Harvard School of Public Health or UCSF uh, for nutritional epidemiology and clinical research, I had started the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center under the mentorship of the Chairman of Pediatrics and the head of the Adult Weight Management Clinic. And we found that by personalizing a grocery list uh, for a family that they could afford on food stamps, a food scripts, if you will, uh, and making just as easy as Amazon.com book deliveries or medication prescription for the providers, we were able to reverse insulin resistance uh, and the obesity trend for families uh, much more effectively than through traditional um, nutrition counseling and health education methods. Today, FoodSmart serves over a million members uh, across the United States from over 700 health plans, employers, and health systems uh, in the U.S., including a number uh, of Medicaid plans, especially from children's um, hospitals and uh, community health plans uh, and large nationals and blues around the United States. We have the largest dietitian network uh, in the U.S., and they serve up our Food Smart Telenutrition, where uh, they use um, our NutriQuiz based on the Food Frequency Questionnaire from NIH and the USDA Food Insecurity Screener um, on assessing what the baseline nutrition status is of families and you know, whether or not they have a SNAP EBT card, uh, whether they're food insecure and need additional support. But in that, we also collect a lot of baseline health information so we can personalize uh, diet in a personalized meal plan and grocery list and then connect that to our food smart, our integrations with most major grocers in the United States, restaurants through Grubhub, meal kit companies, medically tailored meals, chilled meals, frozen meals, so we can serve up the right options at the right price points for families so that they can take action on their highest needs, including their health needs uh, for their family. Now, the way in which we're able to get the kind of outcomes that we get uh, is by really making it easy to change eating behavior and enabling um, 
people to overcome their food insecurity. We think it's critical to address root cause behavior change and social determinants of health if you're really going to sustainably improve health outcomes uh, and the well-being of a family. And uh, when our dietitians go through their training here at FoodSmart, they're not just trained to be nutrition counselors, as a registered dietitian is certified to do. They're also tech support, they're customer support. They're a very friendly voice after these tough two years of social isolation that meets people where they are. And if that's just a phone call on a flip phone where we look at the dietary assessment results and the conversation that we have with a member or a patient, we find out that they don't even have an EPD card. They don't even know about the historic increase, 34 more dollars a family uh, that was created three weeks ago for SNAP. Don't even realize that you can use SNAP online in all 50 states and avoid the risks of COVID Delta, you know, live in an in in in-person setting or a grocery store. Well, we, we help people with all that. And we don't just lecture people about what to do or change. We actually can even um, place the order for a family or even screen share with people with a smartphone and help teach them how to fish for themselves, help them set up their online food ordering with their EBT card that we may have helped them get. And the result of all this is that we see not only health impact, but sustained health impact. So instead of you investing a lot of money uh, in traditional kind of disease management methodologies, uh, coaching, group coaching, where there's a lot of education, uh, that then once that education stops, people kind of slip back into old habits and regain weight, for example. What we see is that a third of our members lose 5% of weight or more at the two-year mark, but our follow-up study from that JMIR paper showed that we sustain weight loss. Even at the three-year mark, people keep losing more weight. We don't settle just for 5% weight loss. We want to pe take people on a five- and ten-year journey, your Medicaid members that you like to keep as part of you know, your family for many years as your membership. We want to help them for the long run and even get back to a normal BMI over time. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, we can barely even engage our Medicaid members in these telemedicine programs and digital programs. But it's really critical, just as you've seen some of the positive success of get out the vote campaigns and COVID vaccination campaigns, to leverage and take advantage of the new Supreme Court ruling where you can send text messages and you can call people and you can receive you know, no hold time kind of inbound calls to schedule dietitian visits uh, and even do door knocking campaigns and partnerships with community-based organizations to get the word out about this free telenutrition visit or personal food assistant support that you can offer up to your members. You already have the medical policies in place that pay for this. You already pay for nutrition counseling in accordance with the Affordable Care Act requirements that you put in place back in 2016. So why not offer up um, a, a more thoughtful kind of capability that meets people where they are, um, helps them make sure that they can afford quality food. And it's not just about leveraging SNAP. Um, we also do price comparison. Because we're integrated with all the major grocers in the US, we can actually show people, just like GoodRx does for drugs, what food is most affordable. And you can save 10, 20, 30, $40 an order every time you order. And you pair that with SNAP dollars. There's not a family in America, there's not a family amongst your health plan membership that needs to be food insecure. But it's not just about food insecurity. It's also about nutrition insecurity. None of your families need to settle for just getting access to processed food that leads to obesity and that leads to chronic disease. And we have the proof. We just published a paper showing that 36% of people with dyslipidemia return to normal levels, just like the American Heart Association guidelines say is supposed to happen. But most physicians rush right into prescribing statins or other higher cost medications because they're not confident that they can actually help change somebody's diet. It's such a personal and thing that's so related to the environment people are in. But we've proven to people that because of the dietitian relationship that's established, the personal food assistant relationship, that is why we have an NPS of 86. Because of that relationship, we take people on a journey uh, that is very impactful. And it also shows up in the 10 over 5 point drop in hypertension that we see, the systolic over diastolic blood pressure. It shows up in the fact that 39% of diabetics are able to get their hemoglobin A1C under control at the two-year mark, a 0.7 drop. That's very similar to the 0.8 drop you see from disease management programs that drive medication adherence, but that's a completely different biological mechanism. 
If you really want to maximize ROI of your limited resources, then you start to put together traditional disease management and medication adherence programs and provider you know, value-based contract uh, incentives with programs like this that address root cause of behavior change that drives disease outcomes, that addresses social determinants of health like food insecurity and economic barriers and disability barriers and food desert barriers, if you address those things the way we enable you to do so easily, then you can see sustained outcomes that really hit your bottom line. And not only will we work with, very closely with your actuarial, clinical, and product and analytics teams up front to scope the potential RI you can see from our data and from your baseline information at the one-year mark, uh, we can actually do a match pair claims analysis with your team, with our clinical team, uh, from people that I trained with at Harvard School of Public Health and Duke Med and UCSF Clinical Research and actuaries. And we can work closely with your team to show the kind of savings that you get from this, not only on its own, but in tandem with the other disease management programs. But I would end in saying that it's not just about saving costs and, and improving health outcomes. As a membership organization, you want to attract and retain your members. And people feel incredible gratitude to your plan when they realize that you've enabled a benefit like this. A human being who's not just lecturing them about what they need to change about their diet and their lifestyle. No, a person who actually gets on the phone, even if it's just a flip phone call, and says, I'll help you order food and get the right food on, on the table. I'll help you get your SNAP card. I will help you make sure that your family is in a good way when it comes to healthy eating, quality food. That never leaves someone's consciousness. They will always remember that about your health plan and we make sure of it that they realize the, what you're doing for them. In terms of the practicality of implementing a program like this, you have a lot on your plate, especially after two years of COVID. And thanks for all that you've been doing to support your members through these really difficult two years. So to make it really easy, first, as a telemedicine company, we just do provider contracting. We have a simple LOA, and for a 90 to 120 day window afterwards, we can navigate and map to your standard provider contract. And we build simple claims codes like 97802 and 97803 uh, that again, you already have medical policies in place for. We also prefer to take a pay for performance approach with Medigate plans. We've learned that while we do have uh, per member per month traditional kind of subscription pricing, people want to build up conviction that we're going to be as good as we say we're going to be at driving the kind of engagement with your members that you would really hope to see. So we have a base fee for uh, enrollment and then pay for performance bonuses related to helping overcome food insecurity and getting people enrolled in SNAP and clinical outcomes like the ones I mentioned before, like 5% weight loss and control of diabetes type 2 and hemoglobin A1C. Lastly, so much is changing in this landscape coming out of COVID. Many states have 1115 waivers that have increased flexibility that allow you to uh, get money from the government to actually pay for food for some of your members that are either food insecure or who are struggling with certain diseases, maybe post-discharge congestive heart failure, maybe out of control diabetes. We will help analyze the regulatory environment that you're in with your team and help you take advantage of opportunities to receive that kind of funding and apply it for your members. But even just starting with SNAP, there was a historic increase three weeks ago. Uh, and with 34 more dollars per family and more families that are, have access to these benefits, why would you not make sure that people uh, have their $1,500 to work with to help overcome food insecurity? We'd help make that easy. And we see that so upwards of 60% of people who are food insecure don't even have their EBT card. So that's a very simple starting point. And even if we can just do that well with you, we've done a lot of good for your membership. Thank you for all that you do. Uh, thank you for considering uh, putting a deep food care integrated food payer program in place. If you're interested in learning more, click on the link at the end of this video uh, or email us at inquiries at foodsmart.com. Thank you. Set. Medicare, take one, and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Langhire, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. 
I grew up in rural Buffalo on food stamps, and I remember going to multiple grocery stores every weekend with my mom, hunting for deals, trying to get quality food on the table. Uh, now, like a good Buffalonian, we loved our chicken wings and pizza and roast beef on whack. But uh, it became very clear uh, the kind of impact and gravity that uh, processed food had on our family and other loved ones in, in Western New York, and how much that affected you know, other places like uh, where we lived throughout the United States. Twenty years ago, I started the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center. Clear, set, Medicare, take two, and. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Langhire, the CEO and founder of Food Smart. I grew up in rural Buffalo, and I remember uh, going to multiple grocery stores on the weekends with food stamps with my mom, trying to make ends meet and get quality food on the table. Like good Buffalonians, we liked our chicken wings, but saw the impact uh, that unhealthy food had on our family and other loved ones in the area uh, over time. My dad recently recovered from stage four cancer, uh, and when I was at a distance from him, um, it was really nice to be able to leverage Food Smart and what we do here to be able to order healthy food for him as he was recovering uh, and going through therapy. But I think about the pediatric obesity clinic that I helped found 20 years ago and how manual of a process it was back then. Now, the good news is when we started the program, we saw that we could reverse insulin, resist insulin resistance in kids uh, with prediabetes very reliably by hitting a food script of sorts, a personalized grocery list that was better for their glycemic load and that improved their weight and their health outcomes. And we made sure that that personalized grocery list fit their dietary um, needs and their budget on food stamps. But when I think about my dad, a senior, uh, and what his needs uh, are and were, he was not a food orderer online, especially before COVID. Um, and he had very specific preferences uh, of what I like to do. And at the same time, he and my mom loved to cook, but they occasionally liked to eat out at restaurants. With Food Smart, I was able to connect my dad with one of our dietitians. We have the largest network of dietitians in the United States. And he was able to build a trusting relationship where, as our dietitians do for seniors and Medicare members, could work through his food preferences and the baseline foods that my mom and he liked to eat. And instead of trying to ram down his throat a bunch of foods that he's never even tried before, started with the basics and then looked for substitutions, different kinds of foods that he might be willing to try over time uh, that would fit uh, his goals of trying to both improve his weight and deal with the therapy uh, that he was going through. Now, part of the challenge that my uh, parents faced is a fixed income. They're set. Medicare, take three, and action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Langhire, the CEO and founder of Food Smart. I grew up on food stamps in Buffalo, and I know how hard it is to comparison shop and go to multiple different grocery stores just to get quality food on the table. I also know what it's like to love local foods like chicken wings, but also see the impact that processed food can have on your family. Uh, as my family struggled with heart attacks and strokes, diabetes, and more recently, my dad recovered from stage four cancer. I trained as a physician at Duke uh, and Harvard School of Public Health and Nutritional Epidemiology and UCSF in clinical research. All after I, 20 years ago, started the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center, where I saw that when we were able to enable doctors to give food scripts, personalized grocery recommendations that fit within people's food stamp budgets, then you could dramatically uh, improve pediatric weight outcomes and reverse insulin resistance for young kids. But then, when faced with my father's own uh, cancer and uh, weight challenges, we were able to, through the Food Smart platform, connect him with one of our dietitians. We have the largest network of dietitians in the United States, and help him build a trusting relationship with someone who could, at his pace, help him start to 
explore other foods that got him eating the way that he needed to, to both lose weight and stay healthy amidst his therapy. The food smart part of what we do includes a dietary assessment based on the food frequency questionnaire from NIH and the food insecurity screener, especially for DSNP members uh, from USDA to make sure that people um, are in check with their social determinants of health, their food insecurity status. And if people need extra support from SNAP, especially given the historic rise three weeks ago, then we meet them where they are and we help them get a SNAP card. On the other hand, if they're a senior who has ample income and they love to cook and they're trying to find new ways to stay safe given COVID Delta kind of raging in communities around the US, they don't really want to go to the grocery store, but they're a little intimidated by setting up online food ordering. Our dietitians meet with them where they are. They're not just didactic lecturers around nutrition information. They actually are tech support where they can screen share with a senior on their smartphone or on a website actually help set up their account. And even if they just want to use a landline or a flip phone, our dietitians will actually help set up food ordering for them. Normally food ordering set up the first time takes 30 minutes to two hours. It's not as simple as setting up an Uber or Lyft first ride for in five or 10 minutes. So seniors really appreciate um, building that relationship, especially during this last couple of years of social isolation and that added support at actually setting up you know, these new tools. The reason we can do this is because our Foods Mart is integrated with most major grocery stores in the US from your small uh, chains um, in local areas to Walmart, Amazon Fresh. We also though integrate with Grubhub for restaurant uh, deliveries and with meal kits for people who like to cook, uh, with medically tailored meals for people that are chilled or frozen who are grappling with conditions such as um, post-discharge congestive heart failure coming out of the hospital, um, or um, maybe uh, somebody who's trying to reduce their glycemic load and has out of control diabetes. Now the results of our program uh, are profound in that they're the most sustainable in the industry. Our uh, recent publication in JMAR shows that at the two year mark, people lose 5% or weight or more 33% of the time but our subsequent study showed that even at the three-year mark, people keep losing more weight. We recently published a paper in JMAR Cardio that showed that 36% of people with dyslipidemia um, got their lipids back to normal. Just like the American Heart Association says, it's supposed to happen. I think a lot of physicians don't have confidence in nutrition behavior change programs, but that was before we showed what you can do with the pairing of trained, well-trained dietitians over telenutrition, conveniently available people in their home connected to all these food ordering options. We also show a 10 over five point drop in blood pressure and our new uh, publication on diabetes shows that 39% of people are able to get their hemoglobin and C uh, under control as diabetics at the two year mark, a 0.7 drop uh, over that two year time period. And we work closely with Medicare Advantage product leaders actuarial leaders and analytics leaders uh, when we're building the relationship and ongoing to help you establish your bid language. With Medicare Advantage, uh, the good news is that in part because of regulatory changes due to COVID, it used to be that Hawaii and Alaska were the only two states where you could do telenutrition, but now all across the United States, CMS supports um, uh, telenutrition. If you would like to broaden um, the member set that can receive telenutrition, you can do a supplemental bid for telenutrition for healthy members as well as a member benefit. Further, we can help you file uh, in your bid the option to support food delivery. So for about $100 a year, you can get unlimited food delivery to help address other drivers of food insecurity, not just economic drivers, but also things like disability where people can't drive um, or helping getting people the right cooking gear uh, to overcome um, a difficulty in cooking in their home. Further, you might already have medically tailored meal programs for LTSS uh, or for your SSBCI populations uh, or for post-discharge situations like uh, congestive heart failure uh, where you need low sodium meals in place to avoid readmission to the hospital. 
we can work with your existing medically tailored meal vendor, or you can work with some of the ones that are pre-integrated in our solution so that you can drive the, the kind of engagement that you want to see and look at ROI in a consistent manner with our actuarial and clinical teams and yours. Speaking of engagement, it's not easy to engage seniors, and you can't use the same techniques that we use with our commercial populations. We work with over 700 employers, health plans, and health systems, but with a number of members who are 60 plus, which by the way, 39% of new grocery orders are over 60 years old in this post-COVID environment. Still though, uh, it's not as simple as sending in his email, and you might not even have the email addresses of all your uh, Medicare Advantage members. It's really important to, especially given the new Supreme Court ruling, allowing text messaging to text your members, call your members, enable no hold time when people call in to set up their first dietitian visit, uh, and even get in the community uh, to reach out to your seniors. It's also really important to make the establishment of the dietitian relationship uh, the first and simplest part of the user experience. Setting up that first dietitian visit enables us to create a relationship with your members, which is why we have an NPS of 86, and then make it really easy for them to get quality food on the table and slowly improve and change the way that they eat over time to get the kind of results that you're looking for. You probably keep your Medicare Advantage members for 10 years. So since we are a program that is much more uh, cost effective than traditional disease management programs, and we sustain results for the long run, you're gonna see a, a much uh, better return on investment than you normally see. But it's not just for health cost savings. It's also because we impact Medicare star ratings through an improvement in your CAP score. People love it when you support them with everyday life things, such as getting good food on the table, especially after what people have been through coming out of COVID. That's across your membership. Be it further, we collect a lot of data because so many people enroll in programs like this that you might have gaps on otherwise that can further help you with your star ratings. And if you're trying to go deep in expanding your DSNP program, because of our uh, depth of experience at enrolling people in SNAP, using comparison pricing because of all of our integrations with the food ecosystem, just like GoodRx does for drugs, you could save people 10, 20, 30, $40 per grocery order. We can really help you create a differentiated program for decent programs as well as PACE programs uh, and other markets you may serve. Thank you for everything you've been doing over these last hard couple of years during COVID, supporting seniors amongst your membership. If you're interested in learning more about how we support Medicare members and your plan, uh, please reach out to inquiries at foodsmart.com or click on the link at the end of this video. I'm Dr. Jason Langhire. Thank you for all that you do. Employees and commercial, take one. And action. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Langhire, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up on food stamps in rural Buffalo, and I remember shopping on weekends with my mom or go to multiple stores just hunting for deals just to get good food on the table and how much work that required. Um, now don't get me wrong, I'm from Buffalo, so we enjoyed our chicken wings um, and, and loved kind of the, the food of the area. But also came to realize the impact that processed food had on our family and families across America um, as I kind of went through my educational journey. I trained a physician at, at Duke, um, but I was trained in nutritional epidemiology at Harvard School of Public Health and clinical research at UCSF. And 20 years ago, I helped start the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center, where we saw when we issued a food script, personalized grocery list that actually fit people's SNAP budgets food stamps budgets, um, we could actually reverse insulin resistance and uh, the morbid obesity that many kids faced. Now the question was, even back then at Boston Medical Center, how do you get uh, that kind of a program to the masses? How do you get it to all the overweight and obese kids, um, the thousands that they saw at Boston Medical Center? Same question arises for employers that have these very diverse populations, white collar employees, blue collar employees, all over the country and all over the world. And what we realized is that to enable food scripts to scale, you had to enable um, telenutrition on the one hand, food smart um, for employees, and you also had to enable a foods mart where you could integrate with 
grocery, restaurant ordering, meal kit ordering, and even chilled meals and medically tailored meals all from one platform. Today, that's exactly what FoodSmart is. We serve over a million uh, employees uh, and health plan members from over 700 employers, health plans, and health systems across the United States. FoodSmart is eating well made simple. FoodSmart Telenutrition relies on our largest network in the U.S. of dietitians, personal food assistants, to be able to guide people uh, through our NutriQuiz and personalized meal planning process and connect that to our integrations with some of the largest grocers like Walmart and Amazon Fresh and Kroger and Albertsons to some of the smallest local grocers, as well as restaurant ordering through Grubhub in the US. What we see from our approach is the most sustainable outcomes you can have on weight and other topics of metabolic syndrome in the US. Our GMAR paper shows that at the two year mark, a third of people uh, get 5% weight loss, but more importantly, our follow-up paper showed that people keep losing more weight even at the three-year mark. That's the key. Instead of a traditional kind of old-school disease management program where you see improvements and improved motivation at first, but when then the program ends, people rebound and have weight gain again, we don't have that same challenge because what we invest in is getting people to change their food environment for the long run. We see that also then show up with subsequent results that really show up on your health cost savings and your bottom line. 36% of people with hyperlipidemia return to normal levels, just like the American Heart Association says it should be, but which most doctors are concerned their nutrition counseling program won't affect that change. But because of our connection to our food smart, we're actually able, able to see that change. 10 over 5 point drop in systolic over diastolic blood pressure. And 39% of diabetics are able to get their hemoglobin A1C under control, a 0.7 drop at the two year mark, which is a very complementary change to any disease management program you have around medication adherence for diabetes. You put two programs like that together and you get an even more exaggerated ROI because of the enhanced cost effectiveness of FoodSmart and the ability for us to address the root cause of diabetes, eating behavior, and sustain those improvements over the long run. Now we'll work really closely with your benefits consultants and your actuarial and analytics teams to validate that ROI and can even do a match pair analysis even at year one to show you that these results are really showing up in your claims. But it's not just about health cost savings, it's also about employee retention and employee satisfaction, especially in this era post-COVID where it's, it can be very difficult to even recruit people in your blue collar workforce. People really appreciate benefits like this. And even the idea of the old Silicon Valley benefits that you got being in the office with free food and things like that has changed forever in this post-COVID hybrid kind of environment of working from home and working from the office. But there are different strategies for your different uh, sets of employees. First, there are different approaches to engaging people in programs like this. I'm overgeneralizing and we take a personalized approach down to each employee, but just for the purposes of understanding, on the white collar employee base, it's really important to use dedicated emails, just like you would get from a food e-commerce company, with a simple subject line, simple call to action, maybe a little bit of a food incentive that we can provide through our platform to get them engaged in perhaps a self-service approach. Download the app, do your NutriQuiz, start using FoodSmart and start ordering healthier food or connecting your existing food ordering accounts to the platform uh, to change health outcomes over time. On the other hand, your blue collar population, we see that it's much more impactful to train managers in your warehouses uh, in your manufacturing facilities, uh, in your call centers, to actually engage people uh, in challenges and programs to get started, and the connectivity to telenutrition visits that are already reimbursed according to your medical policies. I mean, this was put in place in 2016 with the Affordable Care Act, and these are all facilitated by your health plans. That creates a lasting relationship with your blue collar base 
to improve health outcomes over time. People sometimes talk about health equity and social determinants of health and food and nutrition insecurity is something that shows up just with Medicaid. But the real truth, as you know with your own uh, employee population, is that blue collar workforces struggle with food insecurity as well. There was a historic increase in SNAP um, earlier this year in 2021. And that increase combined with our ability to do price comparison, just like GoodRx does for drugs because of our integrations with multiple grocers around the US, means that you can do something very specific, meaningful, and demonstrable for your lower income workers. When you connect our dietitians, they aren't just serving as didactic lecturers of how to eat the way people uh, consume food, but rather practical topics like, do you qualify for EBT card and SNAP? Can I help you do price comparison to make sure you can get quality food on the table and not just settle for processed food um, to make ends meet, but get quality food that actually can move the needle on health outcomes and be food that people enjoy? And that food that people enjoy, they connect back to you, their employer. For wellness platforms that are serving employers, benefits consultants, as well as uh, ASO divisions of large health plans around the United States. We partner closely uh, with those different organizations. We're integrated with most of them across the United States already. We work as a team to ensure the best outcomes for your employees. If you're interested in learning more uh, about what we do and some of the really recent trends and, and legislation changes, such as 100% tax deduction on restaurant food that you pay for for your members in the home, um, or the new increases in SNAP, please feel free to contact us at inquiries at foodsmart.com. We're happy to sit down and share more about what we've learned in working with over 700 employers across the United States in health plans. And we really appreciate all that you've done in these uh, difficult times over the last two years, and hopefully we can help add uh, to the benefits you provide to your employees. Thank you. Clear set. Health plans, take one, and Action. I'm Dr. Jason Langhair, the CEO and founder of FoodSmart. I grew up on food stamps in rural Buffalo, and I remember going to multiple grocery stores each weekend with my mom, hunting for deals and using food stamps to make sure we could try to get quality food on the table. 20 years ago, I started the Pediatric Obesity Clinic at Boston Medical Center and learned that issuing food scripts to families, personalized grocery lists that fit people's SNAP budgets, could reverse um, prediabetes and insulin resistance in kids in ways that um, normal modes of practice weren't able to accomplish. I went on to Duke Med, Harvard School of Public Health to train in nutritional epidemiology, and UCSF to train in clinical research. And I've consistently seen in our own research here at FoodSmart, which serves over a million uh, employees, um, health plan members, and health system patients, that you can reliably change eating behavior for the long run when you connect nutrition counseling, such as with our Food Smart Telenutrition, to real time action with the orders that people place from grocers, restaurants, meal kit companies, and other forms of getting food. And our Food Smart is integrated with most of the major grocers around the United States, Grubhub restaurants and many meal kit companies, chilled meals, uh, frozen meals, and medically tailored meals, which enables our food smart dietitians uh, to not only be didactic lecturers around what food to eat that's different to improve your nutrition, but rather personal food assistance to help get quality food on the table to meet the personalized needs of families and the health needs of individuals. What we see in our clinical publications is that we sustain weight loss at the two-year mark. A third of our people lose 5% of weight or more, but more importantly, in a subsequent publication, we showed that people keep losing weight even at the three-year mark, much more cost-effectively, by the way, than traditional disease management and weight management programs. We also saw in our JMAR cardio paper that 36% of people with hyperlipidemia got their lipids under control, just like the American Heart Association says should be the case. But unfortunately, most physicians are afraid to just rely on prescribing diet or a food script 
as opposed to jumping to medication because traditional methods hadn't worked as well as what FoodSmart is able to accomplish. We see a 10 over 5 point drop in hypertension with our million plus members. Uh, and 39% of uh, our diabetics uh, are able to get their hemoglobin A1C under control, a 0.7 drop at the two-year mark. Many disease management programs for diabetics that focus on medication adherence get about a 0.8 drop. But the good news is when you put these programs together, you get an even a better complementary effect that hits your ROI. And we work closely uh, with health plan actuaries um, serving both your ASO customers and your, your fully insured base on the commercial side, as well as your Medicare Advantage teams and your Medicaid teams to validate with match pair claims analysis that you get uh, cost savings um, from these health improvements. But even moreover, as you're trying to grow your plan and retain your profitable members um, to encourage your 60 plus year olds to choose your Medicare Advantage plan at 65 years old, uh, to retain your Medicare Advantage members, retain your MCO members in Medicaid, to retain your clients, your employer clients, because you're getting the kind of outcomes that they hope for. We work really closely with your marketing team and with an NPS of 86, you can probably intuit as to why you know, advanced food care benefits like this are really meaningful to your members, especially after what everybody has been through in the middle of COVID. Further, as you set priorities around health equity and truly addressing social determinants of health like food insecurity at scale, not just as pilots, but really support your membership through the challenges that we've faced as a country these last couple of years, we make it really easy for your members. We help um, people, for example, on Medicaid or Medicare DSNP enroll in SNAP. And we use our price comparison capabilities akin to GoodRx for drugs to show people how they can save an additional 10, 20, 30, $40 per order. There's zero reason that any of your members who are food insecure need to be food insecure with these kind of capabilities. And you already have the medical policies in place that support telenutrition and benefits like this. It was a requirement of the 2016 Affordable Care Act. You already have dietitians that uh, you reimburse through simple codes like 97802 and 97803 through medical nutrition therapy. And we do provider contracting with you just like any normal telemedicine organization. We have a lot of flexibility with how we do pricing, be it fully pay for performance, value-based care contracting like you like to do with your providers uh, or traditional per member per month subscription rates, whatever is easiest for you. We're very flexible. For us, it's just about getting to work, supporting you with your members. Thank you for all that you do, and especially everything you've done over these last couple of years with COVID. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, please email us at inquiries at foodsmart.com or click on the link after this video. Thank you. Okay, um, almost done. Um, great. You can keep going. You probably can just keep going.